uh, Coastal Burwood Community Board. Leanne, councillors, staff and community. Um, we've got Joe Wells here, our community board governance manager, who makes us look really good, as does the rest of the staff. So great to be here this morning, thank you. Let's wait for, oh yeah, we're already going. Great. Um, so the decisions under delegation for the 6th and 20th of November, just to highlight that we approved the new ground lease to the new Brighton Silver Band which uh, in the Rafferty domain, which is amazing because they're just going to be coming out more in the community at this time of year with the new, um, new Brighton Centre Parade and the parties that are going on, the community parties. So they're just a wonderful um, to have them in our community and what they do. We don't have any Part A's to present this week, this month. Um, significant projects and initiatives. Q2 Master Plan, as I mentioned last month, um, we've begun discussions with staff around the development of the Master Plan that will help guide the future use of the rest of the QE2 park. It's huge. Community engagement around the ideas will begin in the new year, so that's very exciting. Oh, up there you've actually got the QE2 Recreation and Sports Facility. <coughs> it's looking absolutely fantastic, and it's on budget, and it's on track, and the completion will be in mid-2018, so that's really great news for the, for the city. Um, significant community matters, issues, there are three pieces of work. The number one is the South Shore and South New Brighton Regeneration Strategy. Um, this will focus on the short, the medium and the long term responses to adapt the effects of climate change, sea level rise, along the social and economic needs of the community. So the board, excuse me, are working, um, meeting with Regenerate Christchurch and we now have a regular forum to have discussions around this, so that's really good. Number two, <coughs> excuse me, um, up the top here we have the Council's South New Brighton Regeneration Project. So you can see the area is um, circled there. It's west from Estuary Road, uh, where it intercepts with Jervoy Street and Beatty Street. So the Council staff have been pulling together technical information on three hazards, the flooding, liquefaction and groundwater. So a report will then go to Council um, with the feasibility options to address the issues. The Board would just like to flag that we would like to, um, the Board would like to be involved in the briefings along the way and um, prior to anything going out to the community. The third area is the South Shore short term management, floodplain management. This is progressing really well. Sorry, that's actually not the picture, but hang fire. Um, so that's progressing really well. Just regarding the bunding, the uh, community board have just highlighted to staff about the accessibility over the actual bunding areas. So we've had a site meeting, um, really positive. Thanks staff. Um, great that we can perhaps come up with some, just for the elderly and the prams and um, users to be able to actually get up and over the bunding to access the estuary edge. So very good there. <coughs> um, Roy Stokes Hall in Central New Brighton School site, which is what you see at the moment, that's the Roy Stokes Hall down the bottom left in New Brighton, one of the schools that was shut, but the community facility there, <coughs> excuse me, is right in the middle of it. So the crown disposal process came as a bit of a surprise to our community, as well as it, um, especially to those who are actually leasing it presently. Um, so the community board contacted Linz to establish if the crown disposal process for the site could be suspended to enable the community to do two things, consider options for the use of the Roy Stokes Hall and consider options for the use of the balance of the school site. The community board have met with council staff and the next step is to have a meeting with the community key stakeholders um, to explore possibilities prior to Christmas given the tight time frames and we really have appreciated staff's advice and assistance with this. The other parts of the school um, issues there is within our ward we have lost six primary schools. The board has written to the Ministry of Education regarding the status of these schools. We believe there could be opportunities for the community uh, where there are community needs. For example, Aranui require a building for community purposes, that's just one example. And we have also um, flagged with Council's um, property unit that the community board just be kept in the loop. Uh, which is great. Now, the combined Coastal Burwood and Papua Nui Innes Community Board Sticks River Catchment Working Party. Can we please come up with a shorter name? Um, you're well aware of this group. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a really great example of collaboration between the community staff and the two community boards. So, um, finding the solutions with the experts and the local experts. So, this is just outstanding. 
Um, <clears throat> the feedback that we're getting from the community is that it's really positive and working well. So well done to everybody that's involved there. The next meeting's in February. So following on from this, they organised a bus tour, which was really fantastic. We had a beautiful day. We had the community members along, as well as the staff, and as well as councillors and community boards. And it was just amazing. It was a great day. And as you can see on the screen there, um, everybody found it extremely valuable. But you can see there the talking with the staff. We spent a lot of time actually in that position talking with the staff that were doing the weed eating. So I call them the weed professors or the weed busters because they were so interesting to talk to. They had 15 to 30 years practical working experience so, and they're very dedicated staff so we learnt a lot just by talking with them. The Coastal Bird Residents Association Forum, this was our second evening this year. <coughs> it's another avenue for connecting and networking with our residents. The feedback we've had from that evening and the others have been enjoyable, informative, relaxed, fun and inspiring. So really, thanks to the board staff, did a great job and so thanks to our amazing team. It was a great, great night. Um, the other thing we have there is that we've, just last night, we finished our, um, not that picture, sorry, we're, we're all very excited that this is our last, last presentation for the year. Um, we had our last Coastal Hazards drop-in sessions and those who attended have really appreciated the one-on-one -on -one sessions with the staff. So we'll have big discussions about this further next year. So on to our events. Um, looking at the screen, we have up the top, we have the rockabilly up top left and the rockabilly on the bottom there. Absolutely amazing um, um, event held at Rafferty Domain. There were thousands of people that came there. There was an actual old um, hearse there that I took a photo of and I actually sent it through to my kids and said, well, this is the way mum could actually depart, if you wouldn't mind. It was, I mean, you would have been amazed at the actual type of cars that were there. It was fun. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll take that on board. Um, so then we have the summer starter in the middle on the left and also top right. That was fantastic. Of course, I was taking photos and I wasn't actually in it, but good on those that, you know, did. It was fantastic to have that. Um, in the neighbourhood and, and taking advantage of the um, activity there and it was just amazing. We also have had the, what do we else we got up there on the right in the middle, was the Carnaby Lane party. We had some leading street artists who painted on the outside of the paper pus building. So there was DJs, live music with the seaside market, so it was a great day. Come down and check them out if you've got some time over the holidays. And in the bottom right corner there, we've got the amazing Affirm in Aranui at the Wainoni Park. Again, it was 30 degrees that day, probably plus in that little microclimate there. Just absolutely outstanding, um, the work that Actus does there and gathering everybody around for that day. So awesome. We also have there somewhere, do we know? Next slide, we have the South Shore Community Family Day, there were um, 300 people there at the Deputy Chair Tim Sinters' house and on his garden, so that was also awesome. We had Jim the Kite Man there, actually that's only showing one kite, but there was kites literally that littered the sky. If you're wanting to check out the up and coming events, this is a fantastic booklet, a sure thing that the community have put together. All the events for the summer are in here in, in the neighbourhood for the city um, on our side of town, so <coughs> check that out and we have up and coming this on the top left there, our um, New Brighton Centre Parade is on this Saturday at 10 o'clock. Yeah, that is Father Christmas. He does come in an IRB. We have a surfing centre, and it's not David East, OK? That's the real centre. So um, check that out. On the bottom right-hand corner, we have our New Brighton Beachside Skateboarding Whale. Um, but I'm pleased to say, as of yesterday, he's permanent, or oh, I couldn't, can't really call it a he because we're not quite sure. So it's um, it's permanently been placed now in the area. So um, watch the space for your invites for the opening of the Beachside Playground. It's going to be really exciting. And the whale puns on Facebook page have just been really entertaining. So whale done, everybody. <coughs> I hate to say it. Okay, so I um, came up with that one by myself. Um, <laughs> so looking at the screen, the last one we're going to say, on behalf of the Community Board, Happy Christmas, have a fun and safe holiday. Thank you to all of you um, for your support this year and we look forward to 2018 being a fantastic one, so thank you. Thank you.
I, I really like the idea of um, community boards pulling in all of their residents associations chairs for a, a conversation um, that they're incredibly useful in terms of networking um, and I also like the St Albans um, Leadership Day too because um, I mean the two could be easily correlated um, in terms of who the natural born leaders are in yeah. communities uh, for helping assist bright resilience plans for example or mm -hmm. helping after a disaster they're just the natural people to start with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so well done. Thank you. Any David? Well, comments really um, uh, just on the Styx River catchment um, I'd really just like to say um, well, firstly, how privileged I am to, to be able to lead that forum and and really to acknowledge the, the manner in which that is coming together where we have a, uh, a community group that meet with an independent guy first. They come to the meeting and the, the just the general demeanour of the meeting and the things we achieve is, um, is good and great progress coming out of, out of work in there. I'd also like to, in this area, just publicly acknowledge the work and, and collaboration of our staff in, the, uh, in this process. Uh, we have um, senior managers and, and, and a range of staff come out to these meetings and at our last one we had um, Graham Harrington, one of our staff members, uh, presented some information just on river levels and its association with when we were cutting weed, uh, correlation with a whole lot of other data and it made such amazing sense <coughs> listening to this information from, from Graham and it's just put a whole whole new uh, perspective on the way that that, um, that group is meeting. Um, so yeah, just uh, huge wraps to, to um, Keith Davidson and his team for the work that they're doing in this area. Um, just a couple of other wee points. Um, you're really fantastic the way the uh, kids' playground's coming along. The whale was installed yesterday, and, and coincidentally, uh, well, we had to build a new whale because we couldn't move the old one. It, it would have fallen apart. So uh, staff took a mould of the old whale and uh, made a new one. The two are facing each other at the moment, and for this summer we're actually going to have two whale pools. So. Um, a great uh, little kudos to, for the community there. And uh, so, yeah, things, some really positive things coming out of the community at the moment and, and the board is sort of looking, also looking forward to some, um, some work on some proposals for Estuary Edge stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, very positive uh, stuff coming out of our area at the moment. It's quite pleasing to be able to be working in that environment where we're seeing some things starting to advance. Thank you. Um, uh, Glenn. Well, thank you. Perhaps just a quick uh, <coughs> couple of comments. Yes, I think we have a good relationship with all our staff and, and the board. We're, we're functioning quite well and, you know, dealing with some pretty uh, robust issues from time to time. Um, the Affirm Day was very good. Great celebration uh, of the community there in Aranui. Beautiful hot day, uh, but great to have everyone out and celebrating our life together with um, the schools, if we think back to the closure of Arangi School and how big that was uh, pre-quake where I used to live on the other side of town, we consider that over and against the closure and measure of, measure of six schools in the entire ward area, it's quite significant. So we are going to push quite strongly with the Ministry of Education uh, to say, right, <laughs> this has happened, now we want a conversation over potential future land uses. So this is just to, to let you know, uh, you know, they, they've been through a fair bit over the schools on top of the uh, quakes, so um, that's what we're going to do there. But all in all, I think uh, th th there's a lot of good self-starting initiatives. The community is doing it for themselves. There's a lot of good capacity building going on, so it's great. Mm. Very good. All right, I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank